What's going on? Play by play game here back with another Epic 7 video. And today we're going over the update for February 24th. Here we go. Starting with World Arena Conviction Season is ending. So it ends on Saturday, February 26th. And then the resolution season begins probably right after that. Uh, but the biggest thing here is the Dark Monarch Arbiter Vildred. So we got uh, Venom Arby here, uh, and he looks pretty cool. So if you haven't climbed up to Masters at least uh, to get yourself the Arby skin, the new Arby skin, it, you, you have two days. <laughs> I think as of this recording, you have like two and a half days, maybe something like that. Uh, second up here, we got the special side story game of princess week one. Uh, this one is uh, starring the new Vivian skin with, uh, I guess like an alternate reality uh, where Cowork is like a king or something. And then there's like different uh, brothers or something like that. And they're like fighting for his throne. I think that was like the plot from like a while back somewhere. I saw it somewhere like in Yuna's story or something like that that she created. Uh, but week one, week one uh, we do got Urvalen and then Tywin and then Adventure Raz or Raz uh, for the third week. So uh, we'll be able to pick up these currency notes and we do have some enhanced artifacts. So uh, this one is going to be Black Hand of the Goddess. We are going to be getting a Cowric Raid Up banner. Uh, so if you already have some Black Hand of the Goddess, you can just slap that on to any mage and then use that to farm. We're also going to gain two exclusive artifacts uh, from the side story. That's Empress and the Emperor. I'm not too sure whether or not they're going to be good or not. Uh, but I would still highly recommend that you pick them up because you never know. You never know. Uh, this one is going to be a little interesting. It's going to be more of like a story-ish type of deal uh, where it's like a choose your own adventure type of thing. They've done something like this before, but it looks a little bit different. Uh, of course, we're still going to be able to farm. Uh, you're going to be able to buy out the shop again, pick up the artifact and then as many catalysts as you can. The new four star ML unit is going to be in the mystic rotation as well with Arbiter Vildred. So bad cat Armin, you know, I've been trying to figure out whether or not she's going to be good or not. A lot of people say that she's like AOL 2.0, but I don't, I'm not too sure about that. I, I'm, are you sure about that? I, I, I don't, I'm not too sure. Okay. Um, she, you do have to attack her in order for her to give those buffs uh, for counters. But I, I guess the only situation that I see where it could be like extremely toxic is maybe like if you put Bellion in the front, right? Where she has a um, even more chance to counter uh, and then crit damage buff. Um, but I don't know. I, I think she's going to be great support, but it's still adding to the counter RNG mechanic. Right. We end up getting her randomly. We can test her out, but I, I'm not going to be pulling for her at all. Uh, I would highly recommend that you save your mystics and you don't try to pull for a four star. We are getting Hua Young dropping with the update. So the new five star hero and uh, a lot of people say that she's going to be really, really good, really, really solid. I think she, she reminds me a lot of Inferno Kawazu, right? So he can S3, hits you with the burns, and then pretty much one shot almost any unit, uh, or at least any fairly squishy unit, right? But uh, Huayong is going to be more of a like a tank buster, tank killer. And I think that she could potentially be used to one shot Bellions, right? Uh, you could potentially build her full speed glass cannon, right? Full speed, high attack, just to one shot somebody. But then at the same time, she just dies, right? She's just going to collapse and die. Uh, I believe she does have some survivability. Uh, I think she gets like a barrier. We'll pick, we'll pick her up. We're, we're going to pick her up. We'll test her out and see how well she performs without the molas because there's been a lot of units recently that have required molas. We are getting the new artifact, Indestructible Gators, and this is her artifact. Uh, it increases attack by 10%, so that's just built in. And then if you fully max this out, you get a burn. 
<laughs> you get a burn for one turn. And just remember, this would probably be best on her because she is going to have extremely high attack. And so the burns scale, the damage dealt scales off of the attack of the caster. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, but the side story, the will of the strong uh, is going to be dropping alongside of the princess side story. So we're getting two side stories. We're getting the princess one, the uh, the Vivian one and the Huayang one. So keep that in mind. It's going to be a lot of energy, uh, but we are getting some uh, daily energy to help with that. Of course, with this one, just like the other one, you know, try to buy out as much as you can from the shop. Uh, if you're going to be pulling for her, let me know in the comment section below. We're going to pick up at least one copy just to try to test her out and just to add her to the collection. But I highly recommend uh, that you kind of wait if you're on the fence about her uh, because we are getting the Guilty Gear collab coming very, very soon. And if you are a brand new player uh, and you don't have or you don't have any of those units, you're going to need bookmarks. You're going to need bookmarks for that. And they're also dropping a brand new unit who you never know uh, could be insanely broken. So I highly recommend that you just kind of hold off. Uh, we are getting the Cowaric drop rate up, as I mentioned at the very beginning. Uh, another unit that you could potentially pass on. I uh, haven't seen him in RTA a lot more to reset. So he usually resets my... Uh, my other hand guy, right? So that he's he's a good unit because he can outspeed and then potentially reset. But he is a squishy uh, that I think you can kind of get away with not having. I don't I don't think he's a unit that you really need to pull. So uh, you can definitely probably skip on Cowric. Uh, we are getting the expedition rotation coming in. So two bosses will be changed on March first. Uh, we will be getting Brutal Ferris, um, Blooming Snag Lynch, and Destructive Gigantes. Uh, we are getting a Powder Knowledge Rotation Shop. Uh, rotation, Abyssal Crown is dropping in the shop. Uh, Misha, for those of you that haven't maxed out your Misha for that uh, hit chance. Snow Crystal, Elbrus Ritual Sword. This is going to be a tough time because if you have the Powder, I highly highly encourage you and recommend to pick up at least one copy of Elbrus Ritual Sword. It's a pretty insane artifact. Even at plus 15, you don't need to max limit break it. Uh, you know, if you can, uh, it definitely will help on units like Injury Bellion. So running Injury Bellion is tough if you don't have a max Elbrus Ritual Sword because you want her to proc those counters so that way she can deal her AOE attack and deal damage. So it's going to be a tough one. Abyssal, Misha, and Elbrus Ritual. I think, if anything, if you don't have at least one Abyssal Crown, I highly recommend you pick up one of those. But at the same time, you have from February 24th up until April 7th to pick these up. So they're, they're going to be there for a while. So you can definitely hold off uh, because... With the GG collab, we are getting potentially new artifacts with the new unit that they drop. So you never know if you might need to buy or use your powder on one of those. So keep that in mind. We are getting a coin shop rotation. So we're going to be getting ML Ken and designer Lilibet along with Fire CC and Rowana in those galaxy coin shops. Uh, and the RGB coin shop. They are adding Ruel of Light to the skin shop. So if you weren't able to pick her up uh, from that RTA season, you'll be able to pick her up from the skin shop. It is going to cost 110 skin tickets uh, to be able to pick that up. Uh, but moving on, we are getting a free unequip event starting on February 24th, lasting until Sunday, February 27th. So we'll, get, we'll be able to test out Hua Young and see how good she is along with that we are getting the mystic mystic summon revamp celebration seven days 100 mystic medals uh every other day along with some runes we are getting some friendship uh points and some uh, i think catalyst i believe so make sure you log in every day to pick up your free mystic medals and last but not least I highly recommend that you check out the Twitch drop event. So 
Epic Seven will be having this event where all you have to do is tune in to any of the Twitch streamers listed below and you'll be able to pick up some free leafs. Uh, so it starts on February 24th and it lasts from February 24th all the way until uh, February 28th. So there are four days, I believe, of Twitch drop rewards that you can get. You can get three leafs or two greater equipment charms. Uh, and so that's a total of 12 leafs that you can pick up if you decide to do that. If you haven't linked your Twitch account, make sure that you go in and link it. I'll put the link to this in the description because you do have to link your Twitch account uh, to Epic Seven. And then after that, that's where you're gonna be able to claim all of your rewards. Uh, but there is a list here of streamers that you can check out. Uh, but you got the entire schedule here that you can check out. I'm definitely gonna be dropping in uh, to uh, some of these streamers just to uh, be able to say hi and uh, pick up some free leafs. Let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this week's update. There's gonna be a lot of energy that we need to use. Hua Young is getting a drop rate up. Bad Cat Armin, are you pulling for any of those? Let me know in the comment section below. Like always, if you haven't enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, hey, think about subscribing. It really helps the channel grow and reach more people like you who like content like this. Like always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.